Uh, hello, everyone. A very good afternoon to everyone present today. This is Akanksha, your host for the LinkedIn Live session that Netcore hosts every every bi-weekly. Uh, we're quickly starting now with our latest and the topic that we are here to discuss today, all about your app push, right? Achieving 90% push success, and we'll be discussing some changes that has come in the app world, such as the entire Android 13 updates, as well as the Xiaomi shifts. Uh, so we're going to wait for like 30 seconds now and quickly start. Great. I think uh, we're, good, we're good in time. So let's quickly start. Uh, well, I am assuming that when it comes to app, right, we all are very, very concerned when it comes to our notification delivery, right? So uh, today, most of the brands idly want to go app specific. They want to go app heavy and app first because Let's be honest, all our customers' attention as well as our customers are present today on app. And hence, it becomes very, very important to stay upbeat, to understand what's happening into the world of app, app notifications, deliveries. And that's exactly why we are here for a very quick session to give you and keep you updated with the latest updates, as well as how to combat the latest changes that have occurred into the app world. So let's quickly dive in. To begin with, what are the factors which ideally affect the app push notification delivery today, right? Like most of us understand the meticulous effort that goes in creating these app push notifications, understanding users' behavior, and specifically curating the cohorts, right? To make sure that the most personalized campaign that your teams are creating reaches on your customers' fingertips. But is that the reality? Not exactly. Not every app push notification gets delivered onto your user's device or notification bar. And there are multiple reasons which could affect this, right? The multiple reasons could be something as simple as the time of the campaign, the activity of your customer onto the app, the device that they are using. In fact, the time to live for the notification delivery that you've sent and something as simple as the device network. Now, there are some factors which we can definitely control and make sure that the notification delivery gets optimized, whereas, whereas there are certain factors which are out of our hands. And some of these factors are ideally, you know, uh, factors which, which remain out of our control, the latest Android updates that keep on coming, as well as the various external changes that keep on coming. So, uh, as the topic of our webinar suggests, uh, I'm here to introduce to you, and I know some of you would already be aware of it, but for everyone, two new factors which will highly impact or affect the app notification delivery and eventually the retention rate for your customers, right? Uh, ideally, uh, just one second, I'm just going to quickly check if you're live for everyone on LinkedIn as well. Perfect. So for our audience, again, I think, uh, you know, just, just starting back for a quick recap, right, that we were discussing. Ideally, what are the major factors which def actually affect the notification delivery for your customers, right? It can be multiple factors like the time, the recency with which the notification is sent, something as simple as how active your customer is on the devices. In fact, the OS version and the device network also affects the notification delivery of your customers. So let's discuss what's the upbeat news, right? What's new, one of the two new factors which will up actually impact your app notification delivery and retention. And these are certain external factors which no, none of the marketers have a control over. So you can't uh, do much about it. But of course, we do have strategies on how you can combat these changes, right? So let's quickly discuss that. Uh, a quick Android 13 update, right? So I think it's it's been a while now, but Android 13 has now made it mandatory. Uh, of course, the rollout's going to be a little slow, but the adoption is now, we're seeing it increasing day by day. Already, we are aware that iOS made it mandatory and it's it, it's compulsory to give a user explicit update or a, a consent to get a push notification. Whereas in case of Android also now, after Android 13, the app will require an explicit permission from the customers. And we're all customers to these apps. Now we can observe that more and more apps on Android also require 
and allow option to send a notification. Now, as per the quote from Android 13 release itself, it says that this change will help users focus on notifications which are more important to them. On an average, a user has over 70 apps on their phone. And in that scenario, even if every app sends more than two notifications in a day, it is literally enormous amount of notifications coming for a customer. And that idly derails the entire purpose or purpose of personalized reach out to a customer, right? That defeats the entire purpose. And hence, this change is firstly made keeping in mind users' security, users' preference, and overall user experience. So how does this change the entire world? If your app notifications uh, are, are, you know, you're already on Android 12 and the customer has granted permission, by default, you will get a pre-grant. That permission will exist. And uh, in case of the scenario, and in case of the scenario where the app notifications, which are, if it's a fresh install for Android 13 devices, the permission will have will be turned off by default so in that scenario you will have to make sure that every customer who installs the app gives you an explicit input to send notifications to them now that sort of makes life for everyone a little difficult right because now you will have to tell the customers that hey uh, we want to send you a personalized reach out. Can you allow us the permission? Which by default previously was on, but now is not on by default. It's actually off. That actually impacts a very important metric for us, right? So the average opt-in rate, which were 91%, which is massive and, uh, you know, you know uh, for Android, that was the average number. Um, it's actually reduced to just 60%, right? So lesser the number of opt-ins will definitely have an impact on the delivery of notifications and the reach that brands want to have, right? So let's just see what impact it has already caused. Here is just a simple stat which talks about the reduction in the Android 13 opt-ins for multiple industries. And you can clearly see for industries like travel, D2C, e-commerce, edtech, health tech, right? Uh, the deliveries have reduced on Android 13 and there are multiple reasons for the same. Whereas you can see a very interesting fact, but for let's say a travel or a gaming industry, we have seen the delivery rate has ideally increased. Uh, one of the partial reasons for the same could be because now they are catering to a very specific audience space, which is highly active. Right. So it's cutting on the clutter of stale tokens and customers who were anyway not active and hence the delivery increases. But for industries like D2C, health tech, ed tech, uh, in fact, travel as well. And we have at a certain extent, it becomes important to now measure how do you improve your app notification deliveries. That was the first cause. Second cause of why your notifications delivery will now get impacted. Uh, we all understood that most of the brands out there, uh, Martech players were actually relying on multiple gateways. One of the major ones being the MI push or the Xiaomi push gateway, uh, which was actually an aid over and above the FCM or the Firebase cloud messaging mechanism, which ID is used to send the push notification. It was aiding and working on top of that to deliver notifications for the Xiaomi device, which have a considerable amount of, you know, a market share when it comes to India and across the world. Now, we've all got a notice that from April 2nd, 2024, all the MI push services outside uh, mainland China will be stopped. And hence, that will have a direct impact on the notifications which are getting delivered to the customer, right? Uh, as we can see, uh, this will have a massive impact on the note. First of all, this does not impact any other uh, if it's not an MI device, it does not affect them. So we need to be very clear and not so fearful of this fact. It will not idly depend or affect your notification delivery or not. But to every app notification uh, or app heavy brand out there, it becomes important to understand 
your OS or your, you know, device makes of the customer, the delivery that you're sending, what is the percentage or the market share for you and ideally take corrective measures, right? Because your delivery rate will eventually reduce for the Xiaomi devices. Now, the idea here is see every, everywhere we have to work, overcome these changes. These are external changes. And all we can do is make sure how do we combat them. And in fact, use it to our advantage to positively make an impact in our customer's life. Something that we can take out of, out of this situation in a positive manner is number one, users experience do get enhanced because now you can it actually reach out to customers who are more interested in your business, who genuinely want to get notifications, genuinely want to be connected with you. And hence, you can reach out to your potential audience even better, right? That's, that's the positive impact that we can easily take out. As I pointed already, there have been low deliveries and there are some numbers that we have. D2C has seen a minus 4% drop in their notification deliveries. Travel has seen a minus 10, 10% drop off and EdTech has seen a 12% drop off. And you can see the opt-ins have also reduced, right? 60, 58%, 43% respectively. So the idea here is how do we combat these changes? Because it's, it's very clear now we only rely on one delivery gateway. Uh, users get more and more control over the permission, right? They are the ones who will decide if you can reach out to them or not. And the very important factor, your opt-outs become opt out become easier, right? Uh, the more control customer has, the, the the easier it is for them to not by default say yes to you, but rather by default say no to you, right? So the biggest learning that we want to drive out of this session is you send less, but save more. Make sure that you personalize, you create a very smart cohort and send your communications on point. And let's elaborate a bit more on this. First of all, we have to make sure that you time the opt-ins that you're sending to your customers. That is very, very important. Here is a quick glimpse on how you can control the timing by a self-handed opt-in, as well as make sure that you use the power of double opt-ins. That is, you always have a default message of allow, disallow, which pops up immediately your customers comes onto the app. But then let's not get into that direction because that, that sort of does not give context to your customer about the app and their chances of opting out is higher, right? Because they do, they're very unsure. They don't know what your app has to offer. And they sort of, that kind of looks spammy as well. So you make sure you give customer enough time. You make sure that you actually have a double opt-in template, uh, something as this, like, of course, Netcore has done this one of the largest uh, private banks that we have in India. They have made sure that a double opt-in is done, right? So you say you get notified, get daily updates on your portfolio, get daily updates about your app and the changes in the market. If the customer gives a soft buy-in or a soft yes, they click on I am in, and then you show them the by default notification, uh, opt-in notification, which says allow or disallow. This helps you to create a barrier for the customer to not automatically click on don't allow, which basically means, uh, you know, it's, it's very difficult now to get a notification permission from your customer. Of course, with this double opt-in where we actually delivering 100 million plus notifications for the customer in a day, we've been able to increase their audience reach by 210% and a higher app launch through app push notification campaign, which is around 110%. So it's, it's proven uh, from a greater extent perspective that double opt-ins do make a change and they can be uh, easy and a very big change you can implement after the Android 13 update that has come up. Second and the most important solution that you can do is uh, use smart push. That is, Netcore has a very scientific and a systematic way of going about solving the pro problem of notification delivery. As I've told you, there are multiple factors that impact the notification delivery rates. And what you can do is three steps. Number one, use push amplification. In this stage, we go and send notification firstly using FCM as a gateway. And if the notification is not delivered at the first stage, 
we actually use Netforce own server to resend those notifications to customers for whom the notification was not delivered. So there are two attempts which are made to idly send the notification to customer. On an average, we see a 10 to 15% uplift using push amplification. And I have some great success stories for you also as we go further to talk about why this works. Second is, our, second is of course, our delivery booster. Uh, again, very unique to Netcore. Uh, we make sure that we are locally delivering the notification to your apps. The simplest way to talk about this is your all your alarm apps. What do they do is, uh, they pre-schedule the notifications. That is, if you want the notification to be delivered, let's say on 30th of April, you will pre-schedule the notification. Uh, let's say today, 23rd or 24th. The notification will go and sit in my user's device, but it will render only on 24th. So as in when there is a server connect, which happens in between, the notification gets delivered and hence it actually ensures 100% of your active users who have done an app launch or had a server connect, get your notification. And we've seen the delivery booster has highly helped Netcore increase the delivery for customers by 12 to 15%. And that's our stage two. Not just that, we have a stage three, uh, that's our deliverability expert team. Uh, we are known for making sure that our emails are delivered on point and we're one of the best when it comes to our email inboxing. The reason for the same is because of our expertise at the back end. We have a group of champions which work day in and day out to make sure that the notifications get delivered. And there are multiple mechanisms, of course, to go about it, right? And uh, these are various multi-arm bandits. We go ahead and use multiple AI ML algorithms. We actually remove the stale push note, uh, stale notification tokens, right? Stale tokens to make sure that we deliver only to your active users and eventually improve the domain reputation for your app notifications also. So here is a quick mechanism where using Netcore's Smart Push, you can actually increase your delivery by 45% from what you're delivering just using FCM. Of course, there are multiple trends, multiple updates that you can do, you know, uh, that in order to combat this as well. Firstly, personalize your app notifications. Make sure that on the first app launch or if the customer has just installed or uh, have come to your app, you do not send them a generic personalized APN. Make sure you use the power of uh, local, you know, location-based app push notifications because they are way more contextual, way more personalized and more helpful to the customer. Make sure you use advanced tools such as Netcore to actually do multiple kinds of A-B testing for your app push notifications, uh, be it in terms of the subject line, be it using the power of Gen AI to actually experiment with the content on what's working and what's not, because that's the only way to stand out in, in terms of the multiple notifications your customer will get. Not just that, Use the power of rich media app push notifications because they have a higher open rate uh, as compared to a generic app push notification which you send, right? Uh, we've actually seen that a personalized app notification has a four times higher uplift when it comes to the open rate as compared to a generic notification that you would send to your customers. Here are quick examples from Netcore of our live customers where we've gone ahead and sent rich media app push notifications such as timers, timer with a progress bar, rating. You can even have an image with a sticky push notification uh, which, which can ideally help you get your customer's attention and a higher click-through rate. And you can see we're just not talking about notification delivery, right? We are talking about notification click-through rate, which is the ultimate, ultimate litmus for your higher delivery on the user's device. And you can see the numbers for yourself, right? 20, on an average, 20 or 25% higher click-through rates than our normal push notification. And these are all live tests that we have done for our customers.
Of course, as I mentioned, we have proven stats which says that rich media push notifications are very much in demand. In fact, their open rates are as high as 56%. But the sad part is only 8% of marketeers are idly adopting to it. So it's high time you make sure that all the notifications that you're sending to your customers after the Android 13 update is rich in nature. Of course, there are some more advanced strategies that you can apply. Some of them being having dynamic content in your app notifications. Let's say you want to send recommendations which are powered by AI. That means every customer of yours gets one-on-one -on -one personalized app notification. Of course, this happens with an intelligent engine uh, which works at the back end, recommendation engine which works at the back end to fetch your customer's data to understand their behavior and then talk to them about. So you can see Akanksha, that's me, is trying to now get into health and fitness, gets an app push notification which talks about the latest uh, products and goods that I can get to get started. Now, isn't that very personalized? I would definitely click on that one. But yeah, the second one is, of course, behavior-based trigger, making sure what life stage your customer is on the app. Did they just have a meal? Did they just add a product to cart? Did they just get started with you? Make sure that at that point of stage, you are able to interact with the customer with that notification. Of course, you can have advanced capabilities uh, in like predictive analytics where you actually create cohort of customer on the basis of their behavior using ML algorithms to see uh, how you can get and interact with customers who are most likely to interact with you and also predict their behavior of churn. So if you see if a customer is a little less active with you, let's not bombard them with notifications. Rather, try and understand how you can make sure those customers become more active. Right. So uh, let's quickly jump on to certain success stories, which Netcore has already done. First, I've, I've spoken about the largest, one of the largest Indian banks where notifications have actually increased by 210% and 35% increase in the app launches that we saw using an app notification campaign. Another example, of course, that we have is from SmartFriend. Uh, it's one of the largest telecoms that we have from Southeast Asia. They achieved a 65% higher uplift in transacting users using Netcore's AI-powered customer engagement. Let's see how. There was an engagement strategy that was put into place. As most of you are aware, Netcore being one, one, of, the, one of the only full-stack marketing automation platform has a very strong app notification and in-app module. Along with that, we have a very strong segmentation and journey orchestration module as well. So we made sure that for SmartFriend, we went ahead and created journeys for customer in different life cycle on the app. Then we made sure that an optimal time was decided to send these app push notifications so that we got a higher opt-in rate from the customer and a higher volume was delivered to the customer. Not just that, once the customer clicked on app push notification and came on the app, we made sure we we actually stitched that journey and relevant in-app nudges were also shown to customers. Here are certain samples where you can see we've done some limited time offers, exclusive details. These are all rich media in uh, rich media uh, push notifications. As you can see, we of course used AI to optimize the time at which the notifications were going. And uh, we also made sure that uh, we were able to get a very good number of delivery uh, using our durability expert team as well. So you can see 65% uplift in the contribution when it comes to transacting users, 63% higher delivery rates, 15% increase in the active users, which is very, very important in order to make sure that you have lesser and lesser churn rate. And of course, higher, that is 13% higher click rates when it comes to in-app messages. Another quick success story is of a QSR brand called t Life, where we were able to actually achieve 400% uplift in revenue using our customer engagement and app notification module. Here are certain samples of rich media in-app and app push notifications which were sent. 
you can see there was an interesting countdown timer which was sent in the app push notification delivery to make sure that we could actually create a sense of urgency, get my customers' attention onto the app. This actually helped us a lot. Not just that, we used our analytics module to act, and one of the features from the analytics module that was used was our recency, frequency, and monetary matrix, where we could actually target our inactive and lapsed customers separately to make sure that we can actually get them from the dormant stage to active stage by giving them attractive offers and attractive notifications. Well, a 400% uplift in the revenue is what we actually got using this interactive app push notification and a 17% uplift in the deliveries. Now you can see in all the examples that I'm showcasing, we are not bombarding customer with a lot of notifications. We are making sure that we are sending less but we are talking more, right? We are giving them more value with the lesser number of notifications, which are ensuring higher CTRs and higher updates. Another such example is from uh, Vision Plus, where we actually got a higher watch time and a 25% higher uplift in the conversion rate using our app push notification. Uh, more interesting aspects and we've got some snapshots from the platform as well but we made sure that we worked on the churn rate and engaged with a customer who were getting a little dormant right uh, we were using user profiling to understand our customers behavior we went ahead and personalized app notifications not just that the content and the recommendations that were sent were ideally personalized for each audience segment, right? So there were multiple tags. As you can see, we were able to understand the watch time, the conversion window, the goal that with which we wanted to actually interact with the customer. We used sounds and videos, ratings, carousals, progress bars in order to get more attention from our customer. And not just that, we of course, we also have our predictive module of app churn management. The gentleman that you see is Netco's proprietary AI engine, Raman, which ideally helps us predict the likelihood of customers who will go ahead and churn or leave the platform or app, uh, become inactive on app in the coming 7 to 14 days. We were able to understand this matrix. So you can see there were three different segments that we could understand. And we were actually able to take a proactive action to save these customers, to actually serve a very personalized notification to this customer, which eventually increased the retention uplift by 7.15%. So here are quick results for you again. 25% increase in the conversion rate of the content which was getting consumed by the customer just because of app push notifications. Of course, we used our advanced uh, in-app module that is nudges and walkthroughs to collect customers' data uh, and even get engaged with anonymous customers. But all in all, uh, again, the idea that we want to drive for you all is that you send less, send meaningful conversation to your customers, make sure that you're able to create very, very specific cohorts and interact with them in a very meaningful fashion. Well. Uh, that's all that we wanted to quickly share with you all today. I hope you all found the session insightful, helpful. Uh, all the app brands, all app heavy brands, you can post down your questions and we can see a couple of questions already coming in. Post down your questions in the chat section and we'll make sure that we reach out to you uh, with the answers or a continuation of this series when we come up next. Thank you so much for attending yet another LinkedIn Live. This is the Kangsha Sharma, pre-sales specialist at Netcore Cloud, signing off. Thank you.